The Dynon Skyview HDX system contains an extensive library of navigational data that can be accessed and displayed in a variety of ways. The nearest function is designed to provide the pilot with a quick way to explore waypoints and navigational items that are near your current location or a location on the moving map when exploring. The nearest function, when combined with other available functions of the HDX system, provides a pilot with in-depth navigational information that allows for quicker decision making and larger safety margins. Let's take a look at just how this feature works. The nearest function opens a list of various navigational data, such as airports, fixes, nav aids, and others depending on certain display settings, which we will get into later. This data list may be used as flight plan waypoints, or simply to inform the pilot of important information about the selected item. If the map is centered and follows the aircraft, these lists are sorted by proximity to the aircraft. If you have panned the map to another location, the nearest list will contain the items closest to the cursor on the moving map. The most common way to activate the nearest information feature is to simply push button 3 when labeled NRST for nearest. The nearest information page will appear showing a variety of navigational information. As mentioned, this data is arranged according to the proximity of the aircraft on the moving map or the cursor. This is an important detail of the nearest function to remember. By default, the moving map page will follow your aircraft at its current location by using GPS to determine your position on the moving map. If the map is following your aircraft, pressing the nearest button will populate the nearest information page based on your current location. If you have panned the map to explore another location, the nearest information will populate based on the cursor location on the map. Let's demonstrate this one more time. Note the aircraft geo-reference location on the map. And now, when the nearest button is activated, the information is listed as to the proximity of the aircraft. If the cursor on the map is moved to something close to a specific item that contains information stored in the Skyview database, the nearest information shows that item first on the list because of its proximity to the cursor. One quick way to tell whether a cursor is active is if the information bar is displayed towards the top of the map page. If it is, the map and nearest list is not following your aircraft, but instead is providing information based on the cursor location on the moving map. Once the nearest button has been selected and the nearest page is displayed, the filter button can be used to filter out airports that are less useful to the pilot on the list that is presented. Filtering of the airports is done by runway surface, public or private, and runway length. I will demonstrate how to adjust this filter in just a bit. If the filter button is highlighted, the list is filtered. To turn off the filter, simply press button number 3, labeled Filter. This will turn off the highlight, and now the list is unfiltered and showing all airports, with the exception of those that may have been turned off in the Map Items menu. We will get into how to access that shortly. The nearest filter options can be configured to show only airports that are desirable to the pilot and are, as mentioned, based on runway surface, public or private, and runway length. To edit the nearest filter, go to Menu, then Map Setup, and Nearest List Options. From here, you can select the filters beginning with the option to show the full airport name or just the identifier. Next, you can choose the type of runway to filter. This includes water, hard and soft, or hard only. The next filter selection is to show or not show private airports. And finally, you can filter by runway length. Inputting the minimum runway length is accomplished in the same manner as other input methods. Using the knob to scroll through the numbers, then pushing the knob to move to the next number, and finally, pushing button number eight to accept. The runway length is obviously dependent on aircraft performance and other pilot preferences. It should be emphasized that the filtering you set up within the nearest filter page will have a direct impact on the airport selection when the emergency glide feature is activated. As an example, if you filter out soft runway surfaces within the nearest filter page, 
the emergency glide will not include those runways as possible emergency runways when activated. Therefore, it is recommended that settings in this page include all possible runway options for your aircraft and skill level. It is also possible that some of the airports may be completely screened out of the nearest list regardless of the filter settings if they are set to off in the map items option. To access and change the map items configuration, go to menu, then map setup, and finally map items. Here you'll see a list of map items that are displayed and the condition in which they are displayed. For now, we are only concerned with items labeled airports, private airports, and seaplane bases. Using the knob, scroll to highlight the item you wish to edit and select that item by pushing the knob. If the selected item has off highlighted, that item will not show up in the map or the nearest list and will not be an option when setting filters within that feature. To adjust this item, simply scroll to any of the distance selections shown on the list and accept this by pushing button number 8. To be clear, doing this will now display this item on the map page when the distance circle range has been set to match the selected distance. If the user selects 50 nautical miles and the range on the distance circle reads 50 nautical miles, that is when the item will appear on the page. As with most navigational features within the Skyview HDX system, they can provide the pilot with detailed information, allowing the pilot to make better, more informed decisions and make these decisions much quicker. As an example, combining the nearest feature with the Direct 2 information and flight plan features can become an effective way for the pilot to navigate today's complex airspace. After selecting the nearest feature, the user is presented with a screen full of navigational information items. Notice how after the nearest button has been selected, the button menu has changed to offer the user actionable options. Using the APT or airport tab as an example, Rotate the knob to scroll down and highlight any of the items within the nearest page list. Once the desired item is highlighted, the pilot can now select one of several options available on the button menu. Pushing button number four, Info, on the button menu will jump to the Information page showing all the Skyview internal information on that item. This same action can be done with the WX or Weather tab, VOR tab, or any other tab if info is shown on the button menu. Similar to info, using add to flight plan after using the nearest feature can easily add a navigation item to a flight plan, providing another way to easily modify or create a flight plan when en route. Let's look at how this is done. Again, select nearest, choose one of the various information tabs. We are going to use the airport tab in this example. But this applies to any of the tab selections shown at the top of the nearest page that have navigable waypoints like NDBs or fixes. These selections will vary depending on your system setup and installed databases. Now scroll down to highlight the navigation item within the provided list. If the add to flight plan choice is not available on the main menu, it means the item you have highlighted is not a navigational item and cannot be added to the flight plan. Now select button number 7, Add to Flight Plan. The system will immediately bring you to the flight plan window and either start a flight plan with the item you have selected or prompt you where to add the navigational item to your existing flight plan. Other features can be used in combination with the nearest page depending upon your system setup. They may include APT-COM, known as Airport to COM, Selecting this will load the airport identifier to the COM radio. This feature is available with the Dynon integrated COM radio when installed and a select few third-party COM radios. Once the airport identifier has been sent to the COM radio, the available frequencies for that airport will now be easily accessible using either the buttons on the COM control panel or through the touchscreen control panel. TuneCom and TuneNav may be available depending upon your radio setup and the selected navigational or COM frequency within the nearest pages. 
In both of these cases, the frequency is sent to the radio standby frequency, not the active frequency. Other lessons will cover more details on how the COM and NAV features work and when they are available. For in-depth information, always refer to the latest revision of the Dynon User's Manual, free for download from the Dynon website. Combining features like Nearest and Direct2 can quickly provide navigational guidance that is not only quickly activated when in flight, but also very knowledgeable. Here we have the HDX system set up to show an aircraft in flight just after departing. By selecting the nearest button, the pilot or navigator is presented with the nearest informational items relative to the aircraft or cursor location on the moving map. The APT or airport tab is the default. The user is presented with a list of nearby airports based on the filtering mentioned earlier. To quickly navigate to any of the airports shown on the list, scroll using the knob to highlight. Now simply select button number 2, direct 2. This will immediately change all navigational information to the airport selected. If the autopilot is engaged, the aircraft will be turned to that direction of the selected airport. If there was an active flight plan, the direct to action will immediately overwrite the flight plan. As we learned earlier, the nearest information provides several different tabs depending upon your system setup and third-party information. If your system has ADS-B weather, the user can select WX or weather tab within the nearest window, providing even more information to the pilot before making the decision to navigate to it. Only locations reporting weather will be displayed here. If there is no weather information for an item, it will not be presented as an option to navigate to. Once that decision has been made, highlight the airport and select the Direct To button. And as before, all navigation items will immediately change. An important and potential life-saving feature of the Skyview HDX system that is initiated by pushing and holding the nearest button for one second is Emergency Glide. This feature is designed to be used with a configured and tested Dynon Skyview Autopilot system. The Emergency Glide feature allows pilots to perform a single action which initiates the Skyview Autopilot. Pressing and holding the nearest button immediately engages the autopilot at a pre-programmed best glide speed. Simultaneously, Skyview HDX will locate the nearest airport within gliding distance, considering both wind and terrain. If the system finds a suitable airport, the Skyview HDX will command the autopilot to navigate the aircraft to the airport immediately. The airport identifier is also loaded into the comm radio making available all comm radio frequencies for that airport at a touch of a button using Dynon's unique airport-centric user interface. The Skyview HDX Nearest feature is the kind of feature that provides both a significant safety margin for pilots and a navigational convenience. It is just another example of how the Dynon HDX system simplifies flight planning and navigation for today's aviators in an ever-growing and complex airspace environment. Thank you for watching this HDX Academy video on the Skyview Nearest feature presented by Dynon Avionics. If you haven't already subscribed to the Dynon YouTube channel, please do so now and select the notification button so that you will be alerted to new content when it appears. Our mission at Dynon is to create the best avionics and aircraft systems for light aircraft. Dynon is a worldwide leader for avionics systems in light sport, experimental, and certified aircraft with a fleet of over 25,000 and growing.